Hello everybody and welcome back to Swampers Workshop. Uh, Tom and TJ here. Uh, a few weeks back we did a unboxing of our Quiddy XCF Pro here. Um, we did some PLA prints. Uh, we wanted to do our first um, print from the carbon fiber reinforced PA 12 um, but we had gotten some jobs in and so we had put the Quiddy to work. Um, now that the jobs are complete, we're gonna go forward and we're gonna do our first uh, carbon fiber print. First, what we're gonna do though, is we need to um, prep our box, our drive box. We need to mount it on the back. Um, we're gonna, of course, use the hardware that came with it. The silica that came with with it so we're gonna prep this then we'll be back and we'll start doing our first print black creation we live lives on a small screen nation we control the airwaves no negotiation i refuse to think we need saving something good will come from creation and when we think that the world is too anxious we'll adapt to all survive and save it what keeps you up at night yeah make all the demons quiet yeah we were built to thrive yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah As you can see, we have gotten the um, dry box mounted to the bracket, to the back of the machine. Um, we learned that uh, putting the dry box onto the mount before mounting it was easier than putting the mount on to Quiddy and then putting the dry box on. Just to confirm, um, this is not a power dry box. You do need to put in the um, <clears throat> silicon gel um, at the bottom um, and put your little um, 1980s aerobic headband around it to seal it. What we're going to do now being that we've been running PLA jobs in it, um, we are going to change the uh, back over to the uh, hot end extruder uh, before, of course, before we do the print and then we're going to do a level. All right, let's get to work. All right, so now that we have the hot end extruder installed back in to the machine, we are going to um, plug it back in, um, feed the filament into the hot end extruder and uh, warm up the bed because we always warm up the bed before we do a leveling and we're going to level it. But what we're going to do at this point is uh, we are going to spare you from the boring part of this and uh, we're going to go forward once we're done and we're ready to uh, do our first um, carbon fiber print we will restart the video. Okay, thanks. Please, if this video has helped you at all, please like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Uh, we would really appreciate it. So we will be back in a moment. Hello, everybody. So we have everything set now. We have the bed level. We have our top on. The filament's all fed. We're going to use the uh, file that came with Quiddy itself as the file for the PA-12. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to readjust the camera, we're going to put it on, on a time lapse, and uh, we'll see how our first uh, carbon fiber print comes out. Show you with action, I feel this pain, you already know, turn that to gains, let my money show, I've got these things that I can't let go, watch me turn this life into something that you can never own. I feel this pain, you already know, turn that to gains, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run So fight and fight and die For the things you know you love Do what you think is right And see life do what you want So fight and fight and die For the things you know you love Do what you think is right 
Covered them with tattoos so you can't see Knew it from the start, you had problems with me And the things I could be, I just wish I had seen I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel... Okay, so we just finished our first uh, carbon fiber print the uh, machine did very well, it came out very nice, very nice layers, nice adhesion. It has also kept its tolerances, the width is 30.03 millimeters and the height is 29.86 millimeters and it was a 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter test print so um, it did quite well. Uh, please like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Until next time, cheers, and let's learn and grow. Thank you. Bye.